Okay, in this fourth and final video in our lesson on scientific notation, you should now be on the top of page two of your notes organizer that you've been following along with in these videos. We are now going to see how we can easily compare numbers that are written in scientific notation. Okay, there's several important uh, rules that you need to be aware of. Uh, bullet point number one here, numbers greater than one have a positive exponent on the power of 10. We saw that in our previous uh, video. And we also found out that numbers between zero and one, like really small numbers like 0 0.001, you know, that has a negative exponent on the power of 10. When you rewrite that, this one would be 1.0 times 10 to the negative three. So when you have numbers between zero and one, those are decimals, and they're going to be written in scientific notation with a negative exponent on the power of 10, like you see right there. Okay, now, rule number one, when two numbers in scientific notation have the same power, the key there is same power of 10, use the numerical factor to compare them, the coefficient. This is what we mean by the numerical factor, the number to the left of the 10 to a power in scientific notation. But when the powers of 10 are different, ignore the numerical factor. It's the exponents that matter. So let's do some practice. What if we want to compare 8 times 10 to the 16th power and 1.56 times 10 to the 16th power? Because the power of 10 is the same, notice this is a 16 and this is a 16. We don't have to write the numbers out in standard notation to compare which one is bigger and which one is less. All you have to do is compare the numerical factor. Is 8 bigger or less than 1.56 because eight is greater than 1.56 we can then conclude that eight times 10 to the 16th is greater than 1.56 times 10 to the 16th again because we have the same power of 10 we're going to use the numerical factor to compare the two numbers. Okay, now let's take a look at this example right here. Which is greater three times 10 to the 32nd power or three times 10 to the 35th? Well, notice now we're on this rule here. When the powers of 10 are different, ignore the numerical factor. It's the exponents that matter. So I don't have to worry about what this number is here the numerical factor. I notice that because this power is greater than this one right here, this one right here has to be the bigger number. Even if this was like a number bigger than three, let's say this was a nine, nine times 10 to the 32nd power. That doesn't matter that nine is bigger than three because the exponent, the 35 here is greater than the power over here. This second one is gonna be greater regardless of the numerical factor on each. Okay, and how about this last example here, which is greater 3.45 times 10 to the negative fourth or 5.45 times 10 to the negative eight. Well, again, because the powers of 10 are different, we ignore the numerical factor. It doesn't matter what that number is right there. It's the exponents that matter. Now, you have to be careful with negative exponents because negative 4 is larger than negative 8. It's not the absolute value of the integer. It's the integer itself, because we know that negative four is greater than negative eight. 
that means 3.45 times 10 to the negative fourth is going to be greater than the second one, 5.45 times 10 to the negative eight. So again, you want to follow these rules when you're comparing numbers written in scientific notation. <laughs>